Have you been wanting to know how to do a listing on Etsy from Printify with white text and black text? Today I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to be giving some tips along the way to how I list items quickly. I feel like I've done a lot of listings now <laughs> and I've got very quick at it. So I do hope this helps you. So Printify first off is very much like a shopping mall. It has individual shops in it. So if someone says they got a bad print from Printify, you need to find out which specific shop. So the shop that I tend to use the most is Monster Digital, especially for t-shirts. I really like their price and I really like their print. The thing about Printify is you can copy some listings. So if I'm doing a run of teacher shirts, then what I'll do is just, I'll come over here and I'll click, it will copy and create another one. So if I've already put all the SEO in, that's what I'll do to make it quicker. So like I said, especially if it's teacher shirts, then all I might need to do is change the grade, but it's very fast. So then if I come in, edit design, come in here, these are kind of the main colors I tend to use, white, black, heather peach, Heather Ice Blue, Athletic Heather, and Dark Grey Heather. I don't necessarily put them all in the same one, but I do tend to find, especially the teachers, they do really like the White, Heather Peach, Heather Ice Blue, and Athletic Heather. So as you can see here, I have got just a bit of a <laughs> MD. Go to Add Your Design. Then if you click on My Device, and <laughs> I can actually say that. So we'll go over to Canva. So here we are in Canva and I've just made a simple design, rainbow black text for white shirt and then rainbow white text for black shirt. So if you're creating a design for a black shirt, make sure you have the black background because as you can see, that looks fantastic. It's really popping, whereas that is more of a pastel. Okay, so then I'm gonna download them. So I have Canva Pro, so I'm gonna go transparent background using the parameters that Merch by Amazon likes to use. That's what I have it set on all the time so that I can put a design on Merch by Amazon too if I want to. So 4,500 times 5,400 pixels. But if you needed to do it on like a blanket or something, then I'd just make it bigger, but it will take up more space. So we're gonna download those. And then because it'll come as a zip file, I'll just have to click on it. And then we'll go back to Printify. So back into Printify, my device, and you can only click on one at a time. Then I'm gonna delete this one. Okay, now what I find is Monster Digital has a very large print space. So I tend to do the width at 11.8, but I've got a big gap. So I'm gonna have to, so because I've done it like this, I'm just gonna show you, I could go back and make it to the edges but I'm very specific about that. So 9, 11, so I'll just make it bigger. Add this one, 11.8, because that's what I want. That's pretty close. Okay, so with Printify, really make sure that you have a look at the sizes here and where it's located on the page, which you'll see soon. So with the black text, that looks great. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just then gonna delete it. I don't need it anymore. So with the black text, that looks great on the white. So make a specific design for athletic header. And then I'm gonna keep these the same. Then I'm gonna click on this one. And as you can see, it has got the black text because it's not actually showing up. So I'm gonna go back in here. That one has got the white on it going to come back, it takes a little while to add it, and then what I'm going to do is check the size. So that's 14.87 and I do a lot of copying and pasting. Bang. So then I know it's the same. This one's the... Because I want it to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to copy and paste width, left, and top. Then I'm gonna check it lines up. All right, cool. So then what I'm gonna do is you'll notice it will be the same on the black and the dark gray heather. So then I'm going to delete this initial one and then I've just got the white text. 
So then if we preview it, that's black, that's white, okay, the peach will be the same, and there's dark grey heather. So that's how I do it. Then I save the product. Now the great thing about this one is I already have the prices in. So if I go to edit listing, you'll see that all of them are in stock at the moment. The cost is $8.05 and I'm going to start off with $20.99. So that's going to give me a profit of $12.94 because I'm going to do the $4 shipping. And then when I come down here, some people do hide in store. I don't. I list it straight away and then I go over there and put my own mock-ups on. So the one I've been using is the top one, show all variants as available for purchase because if Monster Digital doesn't have it, I will just send it to SwiftPod. Then create your new shipping profile. So I have a lot of different shipping profiles here. So there's the shipping profile, Monster Digital shirts, one to two weeks. I then will come up to here to the title and I will find the best SEO and if it's not already there, like with teacher, where I'm just changing the grade, then I'll write what I need. So I will just go back to Etsy and have a look at the top row in this boho rainbow. But I'd probably put an occupation underneath. But in that particular occupation, and then I'd put it here. It'll tell me when I've got too many. It'll say um, you've got more than 120 characters. And then I will copy and paste that. And then in the description, I have it all written up already. So I have that we do not accept returns, exchanges, cancellations, how to wash it, what shirt I'm using, the like, um, what it's made up of. And then I have a bit of a disclaimer, like um, monitors can be different, the props aren't included, you know, all those little things. And then what I do is I hit publish. Once you've hit publish, it'll change colors and it'll say C in store. So then I'd straight go over there. I would add in the size chart, change up the mock-ups, put the tags, and then hit go. And that's how I do it. The other thing I've done before, especially if you're trying to get a heap up and you're just not sure how they'll go, is I've actually taken a screenshot of this before. So I've done the main photo with the mock-up, and then I've taken a screenshot of this so they can see all the options. And also this gets pushed through from Printify, so I might keep that. And I just might wait until it's got some sales on it before I do a mock-up for the Heather Peach. Just depends. If I haven't had sales in that niche before, then I just find for me it's better time to actually work on another listing rather than put mock-ups on six shirts. Hope this was helpful. This is my first Printify tutorial. I hope to do more. Thanks for watching. Bye.